Hey, it's your old cousin Jack with another episode of Wood Carving Weekly. So this week, uh, we will share some new blog posts from Don Mertz and Bob Kay. We'll have a discussion about the basswood knife that's three times sharper than steel. Or is it? And we'll take a spin around YouTube and uh, see what we can see. Let's get started. Well, let me tell you a story. Um, a couple of years ago, I was driving to work and there was a story that came on the car radio and the news, not just the DJ saying something, it was in the news about scientists that had developed a basswood knife that was three times sharper than steel. Now, the story was that the scientists found a way to harden the wood and make it um, possible as sort of a renewable resource to replace things like steel or plastic knives. They also use the same material to develop wooden nails that they could drive through pieces of wood. Now there is a video and I'll share that in the links below. Um, just like I always do, I'll put all the links today in the description below this video. And the video that they had shows the knife cutting through some steak and it also shows a nail being driven through several pieces of wood. And supposedly, the basswood was 23 times harder than raw basswood. And it was picked up. This story was on uh, the news that I heard on the radio. It was in the New York Times, the USA Today. Lots of media outlets took this story and ran with it. But there's more to the story. And we'll get to that here in just a few minutes. We have a new blog post from Don Mertz over at wouldbecarver.com. He calls it Bunkhouse Buckaroos, and in this new post, he shows you how to carve a couple of different cowboy figures. Now, there are two cowboys that uh, he shares a number of photo galleries with lots of different angles, so you can see um, how these things look when they're in the finished stage, and then also some photos of the carving process, so you can sort of use it as a go-by. Don also provides some information, sort of describes the process he used to put on uh, paint and finish and get it all done. So check out Woodby Carver from Donald Mertz and look at those bunkhouse buckaroos. So we also have a blog post, brand new Halloween special from Bob K. Woodchip Chatter is the name of his blog. I'm going to put a link down below. So Bob gives us two different Halloween stories. One is the story of Halloween, where he goes through some of the history behind the Halloween tradition, how it got started, and so on. And Bob's writing style is really great. He, he's uh, very good at telling stories and sharing this information. Now, in addition to the story of Halloween, he also gives us the story of the jack-o'-lantern. Uh, turns out this guy named Jack got into some trouble. And uh, Bob shares the whole story. There's a bit of a carving twist in the story, too. So make sure you go over to Woodchip Chatter and check out the Halloween special blog post from Bob K. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe so you'll get every month the new article that he posts. So the folks at Treeline USA have sent out notice that they have the brand new CCA book called Pick Your Nose and Carve It. Uh, every member of the CCA contributes to this book and shares information about how to carve noses. So if you're like me and you struggle with noses, uh, it's probably a great book to have. While you're there, uh, they also have a previous publication from the CCA called The Eyes Have It. And you guessed it, that one's about carving eyes. So a couple of great resources available from Treeline USA. Now these books also may be available at the CCA website. That's Caricature Carvers of America, I believe, .org. I'll have the link below. So about that knife, right? A wooden knife, three times sharper than steel. Laren Thomas is a metallurgist and an engineer. He runs a blog called Knife Steel Nerds. And he had readers that were sharing links with him to the New York Times and other outlets that grabbed this story about the wooden knife, three times sharper than steel. So Laren looked into it. And when he looked at the research and the outcomes published from the research, he started poking holes in it. So 
The basswood that was hardened went through a chemical process and then it was cold pressed, followed by a heat press. It was soaked in mineral oil for 48 hours and it was formed into a shape with a sharp edge. And then the sharpness was tested and compared with a table knife and a plastic knife. So they claimed that the basswood knife was three times sharper than steel. Table knife, also known as a butter knife that was not sharpened. So yeah, I guess you can make that claim that the wooden knife was three times sharper than a blunt butter knife. The press liked the story. So Laren also found that the wooden nails that were also part of the research and the publication and the video, uh, wooden nails are not a new thing. They're already in use. Some of them are already being made that work in nail guns, for instance. So I'm going to encourage you to check out Knife Steel Nerds uh, if you're interested in learning a lot more about knife steel. Uh, Laren geeks out on that stuff and he's got a lot of information on his blog. Well, all right, let's take a spin around YouTube. Uh, we'll start with some ugly cowboys. Yep, uh, Eric Owens has a YouTube channel where he shares a lot of tutorials and other videos. Great channel, you should check it out. And he was kind enough to share, I think a series of four different videos from the CCA event Carving the Rockies. And then uh, the video that I've got a link for, he shows you the various carvings that were entered into the Ugly Cowboy Contest. Really fun to look at. And while you're at it, check out the other videos that he took. He also has some video from last year's event. And like I said, tutorials as well. So check out Eric Owens on YouTube. So let's stay with Cowboys for a bit. Roger Stegall has gotten started on a new series of videos that he's doing on carving a cowboy he calls Quick Draw. This comes from one of his rough outs. And he uses a variety of tools as usual. Roger does use knives, V-tools, gouges pretty regularly. And when he's shooting these videos, his camera person is his grandson, Peyton. And uh, when you watch this video, I think you'll enjoy uh, another master carver at work and listen for Roger to say, can you see that all right there, Peyton? And Peyton's familiar response, mm, yep. I don't think I've ever heard Peyton say anything, but yep. <laughs> you gotta love it. So check out Roger Stegall's YouTube channel. So over at Chris Morgan's Creations YouTube channel from, of course, Chris Morgan, he's got a video that has a somewhat cowboy-related twist to it. He's unboxing a prize package he received from Woodcarving Illustrated. You see, he came in second place in the recent Blade Cover Carve-Off competition. He carved a cowboy, and he's going to show that to you in this video. I believe the first place winner was uh, Sheila Hunter, so congratulations to Sheila as well. So, in this video, Chris does the unboxing, shares with you all of the things he received as part of the prize package. He also talks a little bit about some ideas he has for the future content on his channel, uh, perhaps some interviews and other things in the works. So check out Chris Morgan's Creations. You know, sometimes you just want to have some fun. And I don't know if there's anyone out there that has more fun than Jordy Johnson over at Carving Fusion. Jordy has a new video where he's showing you um, more or less how to apply gold leaf to a carving. We saw a similar uh, type of event earlier in another episode where Alec Lacasse was applying gold leaf. Jordy does this one as a tutorial. He's got several different colors of leaf. He's got black leaf, red color, and the gold leaf, of course. And he's got an eagle carving uh, that he's going to be applying the leaf to. Well, Jordy gets a little impatient with the glue drying process because who wants to sit around and watch glue dry, right? Jordy's just killing some time, as he says in the video, and having some fun. Uh, it, it's a fun video to watch. It really is. Uh, and, and I encourage you to take a look at Jordy's flaming fire chicken is what he called it uh, when he got done with it. And he reminds you don't be a Geordie. In other words, don't get impatient when you're <laughs> working with gold leaf. 
um, yeah, take a look, sit back, and enjoy. We have a new video from Beavercraft uh, over at Beavercraft Tools. They have a website, of course, and they also have a YouTube channel. On the YouTube channel, they have a number of tutorials. Uh, this recent one is a squirrel holding an acorn, sort of an autumn theme. And the instructor who's doing the carving doesn't really talk very much, just very little, but um, shows you the process using a variety of Beavercraft tools, as you might expect. And there's some music that's kind of playing in the background. So if you're interested in maybe carving a squirrel holding an acorn, check out the Beavercraft uh, YouTube channel. Well, I want to thank everybody for all of your support. Um, we've had a lot of likes and that works great. A lot of subscribers too. I really appreciate that and the sharing of the channel as well. Uh, if you let other carvers know about it, that's, that's a great help. That's the goal, right? Is share information with all of our carving cousins out there. Have yourself a great week and we'll see you next time.